Hey everyone, it's Tony here with Nerds Never Sleep, and it's time again to go plus ultra and bring you all another My Hero Academia statue unboxing. This time I'm bringing you the Kotobukiya Artifacts J version 2 Deku. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kotobukiya did a line of these uh, 1 8 scales a while back uh, during the early days of My Hero Academia's anime and they were um, very plain to say the least. Uh, it was just a little plain base, kind of a basic pose and, and that was it. Nothing flashy, nothing fancy and I'm glad I skipped those and waited until this line came out because as you can see I'm joined here by my boy Bakugo and by Shoto Todoroki. And these two are part of this amazing kind of reboot of the Artifacts J line they've done. And these things are amazing looking. As you can see here, they're very dynamic looking. So they're not uh, just a basic standard pose with a straight face. They have a lot of personality to the piece. So... I was pretty excited when they announced this newer line, and I've been doing it here on the channel. So along with these two, I have also covered Hawks on this channel as well, who was a very large piece. So if you guys want to check him out, he's here on the channel as well. But enough of the other boys. Today is about the crybaby hero himself, Deku. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in, I'm going to let you take a look at this pretty decently sized box. We're going to get a closer look at Deku and then we're going to take him out and see how he sizes up with the rest of the characters in this set. All right, guys. So first thing you can notice here, just like the other boxes, is that this has the uh, green color scheme, obviously for Deku. And we've got a pretty decent sized window box here that you can get a better look at the character that you're getting. We've got the usual suspects here. We've got the Kotobukiya. We've got 1 8 scale pre-painted Izuku Midoriya version 2. So again, it is version 2. We've got the Toho animation logo here as well as the, again, Artifacts J. So over here on the side, we've got kind of like a, almost looks like a burn or a damp, battle damage kind of window here. Just a little peek at the side. Nothing really major. Uh, over here on the other side, we have a close-up look at Deku's face. And then over here on the back, we've got your information about the statue, as well as a zoomed-out, full-scale view of what you're going to get, and a couple other smaller photos as well. So, worth noting, you have another window here up top. You don't really get to see too much. But again, it just kind of gives you a better scale of what you're going to be seeing when you open it. So again, I love having a window box because again, you can see what you're getting inside here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for Deku. So let's go ahead and take him out right now. All right, guys. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut all the tape, pull out this clamshell. It's going to be a little noisy. We're going to speed right through it though. Okay, so one thing to note here is that this has got two different pieces to this clamshell. There is a lot of kind of effects here on the back side. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that off first and then separate the rest. Now there are also some instructions here as well, so. There are a lot, again, of kind of lightning effects that we're going to have here for Deku. So I'm going to keep this thing handy because obviously we're going to have to put a lot of pieces on. Just so you guys are aware, I did not get the Kotobuki exclusive on this one. So I don't have uh, the extra pieces that come with it. I think it was just an extra face. But again here, we're going to have, it looks like he is all going to be one solid piece. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out. And we're going to take all the plastic off of them first. If we can get it untaped. Nothing really crazy about the plastic here. They do have a little extra piece here around his hair and everything else. So be a little careful when you pull that off. And of course, his little cowl. But other than that, uh, bada bing, bada boom. I mean, <laughs> 
if you don't want to put all the little effects on, here he is right out of the box, ready to go. So pretty cool. And, you know, they did a really good job with the sculpt and the face on this. So, I mean, I'm already impressed by how good it looks. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the hard part and plug in all these little kind of flare pieces to it. Okay, guys. So what I did was I rushed through, separated all these the way they are here in the instruction manual. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get this done. So uh, first off is gonna be number one. It's gonna go, okay, so let's see. We have a little tiny key right here. And there's gonna be a keyhole somewhere on his hood. And I do see it, it's up here in the corner of his hood. So we do have to make sure that we're getting it right. I'm gonna just look at this real quick. Cool, that popped right in. All right, so now we're gonna go with two, and two looks like it says um, position under his arm. So we have two little pegs here, and we do have two keyholes here on his arm. So I'm going to assume that this is going to kind of wrap around his arm, and let's see if I can do this. It looks like I keyed in, and so did that. Okay, so we've got two down. So now we're gonna go for number three. Now three is going to go into his leg, it looks like up here. So let's see, we have one keyhole right here. And it looks like it's going to just wrap around his leg. So we do have a couple keyholes on his leg. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug one in there. And three actually just wraps right around his leg, as you can see. Snaps right in. That was easy. Uh, four is going to go here into his knee. So we have two keyholes here on four as well. I'm going to look really quick at where those are going to go. And it looks like, okay, so it looks like these are going to snap in right here in the front. So I'm going to wheel this around real quick and see how these snap in as well. And done. Those snapped in pretty good as well. Okay. So far, pretty painless. Uh, number five is going to wrap around his foot. So there are, there's a key here and a small key. So it looks like they are going to wrap around his foot. So we've got a small key here and a big key ah, on the side of his foot. So it's going to key into the side of his foot and in the bottom of his foot, bang, bang, done. And finally, number six is actually gonna go here on the bottom. So there is, I'll lift it up a little bit. There is a keyhole here on the bottom of his foot and there is a small key right here on the bottom of this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put that key into, so, perfect. We've got his, all of his little uh, lightning all done. So while it looked like it was gonna be a little daunting, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, the most difficult part, I think, was just taking everything out and lining it all up by the instructions. So. If you do that first, you take them all out, you line them all up by how they're supposed to go, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, pretty painless. So, this looks pretty badass with all the effects on it. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys in and I'm gonna give you a closer look right now. All right, so here we are with your full 360 view of Deku. And as you can see, this is uh, not current with my hero uh, as far as you know what the look is in the costume this is kind of more where along the lines of he was doing his shoot style and still kind of getting in the groove of things so we've got his his upgraded gauntlets and his uh his kind of reinforced boots a little bit here and again you could pose this thing up and do this up without all the added effects if you didn't want to deal with it but putting those on really did kind of add to it and having all kind of the loose debris tied into them is really, really cool. And I really dig how the one up here does wrap around his foot. Sorry about the blur. Now, his base here is just kind of your basic thing. 
just like the others in this set. It's got kind of destroyed concrete look to it, but I do dig this. I like how it looks. And again, I like all the kind of flying concrete everywhere. No matter where you look, there's kind of all these little pieces of it. Definitely a really, really great little detail added to it. So speaking of details, I'm gonna bring you in. Shooting up close here, as you can see the base, um, you know, while it's dynamic, I obviously it's, it's better than just a standard plastic base. It's nothing crazy to write home about. It's just some destroyed kind of concrete. I like how they've added a little bit of almost cell shaded look to it, kind of a cartoonish look. And we'll go here onto the feet. As you can see, this is where your first uh, lightning effect kind of plug-in goes. And it has, again, some more kind of uh, concrete kicking up off the lightning. The boots are obviously really well done. These are kind of his, I think his second form of boots really. And then again, we have another one here, another effects piece kind of hanging off with another piece of concrete off the leg. I like how they got the, the nice translucent uh, PVC here on it. They went on really easy. He's got his kind of his, his, uh, his knee guards here. Going up here, we're getting to some pouches here in his costume. Obviously, the sculpting is very well done. All the colors. I'm going to go up here, up his back real quick. Um, here he is with his elbow. This is the one we had to attach on his elbow. This is really, really cool. Like I said, the details are just there. Here's his cowl and his hair. Again, the detail is great. Even the little details in the hair right here and the different tones of color look fantastic. I'm going to try to get up top here a little bit for you guys. As you can see, the hood is sculpted. It's flowing. Looks very dynamic again. And we go over here to the other arm and his hand. He's got his gauntlets. The hands are actually very well sculpted. I like that a lot. Kind of have the green underside here with some more uh, debris. Again, there's a lot of details in this piece. I'm going to go scoot you around to the front. And again, here we go again. So we've got, again, the foot with the effects piece going around it, kind of going down the leg here, off to his kicking pose, the front of the hand, and his face is very, very, very well done. The eyes pop, got a very semi-aggressive look on his face, so you can definitely tell he is in some combat, almost begrudgingly, the way Deku kind of does look, and it, it just... The piece really, really pops. I definitely dig this. And it makes me even more excited for the uh, Vigilante slash Dark Deku that is coming. So before I give my final thoughts here, I'm going to size him up with some of his friends. All right, so here he is with Shoto Todoroki from this same version 2 line as well. And as you can see, these two look pretty badass together, looking like they're ready to take down anyone. Um, the difference here is that whereas Bakugo and Hawks had a concrete base like this, Todoroki is standing on a giant block of ice, but I think that just adds to it and makes it look so cool. So again, these two look great together. I mean, you can't really angle it with Deku because his foot does get in the way, but pretty freaking sweet. And then I'm gonna just give you guys a look at Deku with of course, the boy Bakugo, and now these two look like they are kind of going off their own separate ways. Again, similar bases, but not the same. Uh, they both have kind of like that concretish looking base. And again, these two fit together really, really well. This is a super dynamic set. I dig it a lot. And uh, yeah, they go great together. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to actually try to see if I can get all three of them together for you real quick just to give you a feel of how the trio looks together. So honestly this is probably how I'm going to be displaying them. Bakugo kind of leading the charge rushing ahead up front and you got Todoroki covering one side and of course Deku covering the other and I'm probably going to have Hawks somewhere uh, you know behind them in the display as well. But again this trio looks really really good. I'll even turn Todoroki towards you guys more so you can see. Um, again, these are a really, really awesome looking set. And if you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on something like the big Prime 1 display, 
it's a cheaper option to get all three of these boys together. So that's it for the Deku closer look. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys. So that's it for another Kotobuki and My Hero Academia unboxing of, of course, the version to Deku. And I got to say, just like with Todoroki previously, I am pleasantly surprised by this one. Bakugo and Hawks, I was immediately just like, hell yeah, these are awesome. They're going to look sweet. Can't wait. Deku and Todoroki, I was kind of, eh, don't really care. But I got to say, Deku came out amazing. And I know they have a vigilante slash dark Deku in this line coming out next. So I am super freaking excited for that one. Uh, as well as Hatsume and I think Mirko is coming as well. So they're definitely going to keep going with this line. And the quality of these is absolutely on point. Like, I I got to give Deku, it, it, this is a solid 8 out of 10. I don't think it's as good as Bakugo, and I don't think it's as good as Hawks, which is why I'm only saying an 8 out of 10. These do go on sale pretty often. They're not the hardest things to find. So definitely shop around, but I do highly recommend checking out this line Deku has impressed the hell out of me just as Todoroki did and I really love the Bakugo and the Hawks so I am excited to keep on going with this line hopefully this video has kind of steered you guys in the right direction and uh, convinced you the same because I definitely want Kotobuki to keep going with these with the more dynamic pose and the dynamic bases and things like that. This is a line that is looks like it's going to keep going. So fingers crossed. I'd like to get a new All Might, maybe even a depowered All Might. Maybe an Endeavor, something really big and badass and cool. But I would definitely like to see Kotobuki keep going with this line as is and maybe give us something similar for the Jujutsu Kaisen Artifacts J line which is another one that's just kind of your plain, basic, standard stuff. I would love to see, and I'd pay the extra 15, 20 bucks for a more dynamic pose, dynamic base, and kind of a big action thing. Um, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you all thought of Deku. And if you do have the previous line, what you guys think compared to that. Uh, would you guys upgrade? Would you... You know, add this one to your collection. Uh, let me know. I, I'd love to hear from you guys if you do have the original ones. But that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Click that share button. Spread the nerdiness. Link tree is in my description below for all of the social media goodness where I post photos, videos, updates, etc. almost daily. And uh, yeah, guys. I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.